hello viewers welcome back to my channel now in this video we will continue what we have started in the previous session so we have seen that how you can open excel how you can uh, create a data sheet and how you can enter the data and uh, how you can add the formula in excel sheet now again i will open the microsoft excel sheet so simply you can type here also so microsoft excel 2010 so once you open the software go to file menu and then go to the recent document stud data is there just select it and click it so it will open on your screen so yesterday we had uh, typed the three records so three records are there now what i want i want one row to be added at the top to add some tagline for this table so what i do i will click on this one so the entire row gets selected right so and then right click click on insert so one row will be added here so this is the method how you can add the row otherwise you can go to insert option also which is available in the home ribbon and you can add the row see insert row so you can click you can add one more row right like this now what i do here i will type some heading like uh, our college name i am going to type here okay so i will type here student list for the year for the academic year 2023 like this i will type okay now after typing this select all these cells up to this average okay and click on a merge and center so all the cells will get merged and uh, your text will be centered okay now if you go to quick access toolbar click on this preview and print so you will be having preview option so you can print the document you can see the preview of your document right so this will be the preview now click on home again you will be back to your sheet now here you can continue with the other records also okay and uh, you can select you can change the style you can change the size even though you can select a particular text and make the designing like this okay you can make it bold you can increase the size like this okay. now in previous session we had uh, seen that how can you make a total and how you can calculate uh, average so we have seen what you can write for this and what you can write for the average okay this is the formula right this is the function which we have used the sum and average function okay now i will add one more field here right let us find out the grade grade of the student right so grade is uh, found on the basis of the average obtained by the student now assume that if any uh, student obtain more than 40 percent he can he or she can be a past class student a same student obtain more than uh, 50 percentage they may be second class 
and uh, whoever scores more than 60 can be a first grade student or first class student and more than 75 percent is a ranked student now on the basis of this formula we will uh, type the formula based on this uh, criteria what i said to you okay okay so to have this formula we need a if condition right if h4 because h4 cell is having the average of the student so we are uh, finding the grade on the basis of the average scored by the student now if average is greater than or equals to 75 then in double quote i will write rank right i can type here or i can type here right so rank then comma again use the if condition right assume that the student uh, average is not more than 75 if 75 or more than 75 he or she can be a rank otherwise less than the 75 i need to write one more formula for that so again i will write greater than or equals to 60 i will look for 60 whether uh, student average is more than 60 or not if it is more than 60 then in double quote i will write first class again comma again one more condition for those student who secure their uh, average less than the 60 for them again h4 is greater than or equals to 50 comma double quotation if any student scores more than mm, mm, their grade is second class again if h4 is greater than or equals to 40 comma double quotation pass class is their result if student score less than the 40 then a student grade is fail so how many bracket i have opened four so i will close four parentheses i will press the tab or i will pr press the enter key now you can see the grade of the student is first class okay now similarly assume that instead of 76 if i make it uh, 96 right 96 and uh, instead of 69 i will make 89 now you can see the already the total and percentage has been changed okay so i will make it uh, 49 here now you can see 69 percentage means it's already in first class average is 69 if i make 59 average the student grade will become second class right so this is how i can prepare or i can write the formula right so this is the formula and uh, to apply to the other record simply click on this button and just drag and drop right drag and drop so this is how you can find the grade now after finding the grade if somebody scores instead of uh, 49 somebody scores 39 right their grade is shown as uh, second class but that student is fail in a particular subject so how to write the formula for that now here I will take remark, I will take the next field as remarks. In remarks what I do, I will write one more formula, say any student fail in a particular subject then his remark should shown as 
fail if student secures less than 40 marks okay now what i do here i will write if right if the first subject cell address is d4 right d4 is less than 40 right less than 40 comma in double quote right fail comma if if e4 e4 comma sorry e4 is less than 40 comma fail comma if f4 f4 means the third subject f4 is less than 40 comma fail comma pass 1 2 3 so what is the meaning of this formula so what i have written here here is the d4 is the first subject i am checking whether the fourth subject is less than 40 or not if it is less than 40 then it shows fail no need of checking the other subject even though student get fail in particular one subject also his remarks remains fail so if uh, first subject is pass if uh, he scores more than the 40 we will go to the next condition and we will check the next subject that is e4 that is second subject we are checking whether in the second uh, subject uh, score is uh, less than 40 or not if it is then print fail if it is not then check for f4 that is subject number four uh, sorry subject number three again check for 40 marks if it is less than or not if it is less than print fail otherwise in any of the subject there is uh, no condition is satisfied means there is no less than 40 marks then all the condition become false when all the condition become false the else part after this comma the else part is the pass this pass value gets printed now what i do i will uh, enter here so it is showing remarks as fail now i will uh, apply this formula to all the records so simply click and drag and drop now you can see one fail and two pass because there is only 39 in one uh, subject of the amit's record so if i make it as 40 you can see the remarks get changed to pass right remarks get changed to pass okay so you can make 35 in any of the subject now you can see there is a second class in the grade but there is a fail in the remarks okay if uh, i enter 39 it shows fail if i enter 40 it shows pass and even more than 40 it shows pass okay less than 40 it shows fail so this is how you can write the formula and how you can uh, prepare a student list right so we have seen that how you can type a total average grade and remarks right so you can select you can put all borders you don't want any color click on no fill right so i will select again these two additional cells also again i will click merge and center and i will click one more time so it gets merged up to this okay double click on these you can adjust your data right now go to print and uh, preview option so you are getting the print preview option so your data will be printed like this your table is shown like this okay so i have not merged this so it is not showing properly so again go to 
merge and center double click on merge and center go to print preview now you can see the record right okay so this is how you can prepare a sheet for the student okay hope you have understood this concept right now if i go to data right if i go to data and uh, there will be a filter option right ascending and descending option so already it is in ascending form so if i select uh, these three names and if i click on this uh, descending so it will sort in descending order so already it is merged the cells are there so that's what it is not uh, showing right if i click on filter by selecting these names if i click i can filter which record i want to display which record i don't want to display so i can display a particular record among n number of records if i have n number of records among n number of records i can display only one or two or on the basis of criteria also i can filter and i can show the records right so this is all about how you can add the formulas and how you can perform the operation so again to remove these buttons again you need to click on this filter so already the filter is selected just click on the filter so buttons gets removed right so that's all for this uh, particular session so we will come up with the next session in the next session we will talk about how you can add the charts in microsoft excel so after preparing this sheet how we can add or how we can create the charts in microsoft excel so thank you for watching